Welcome everybody to our next video. Today we will learn more about the costs of sustainable energy supply. It's all about the money, right? But why should we care about the cost of sustainable energies? Well, on the one hand, costs are an important decision criteria for investors, energy contractors or even plant owners. On the other hand, also financials and project managers need to know the costs of the projected power plant. In the next few minutes, we will talk about the structure of energy costs, the energy generation costs, especially the cost of electricity and heat, and the conclusion. Not all costs are the same. As we can see, the energy costs in Germany consists of costs for generation, costs for sales, taxes, and costs for distributions, for example, the energy grid. Costs for sales, taxes and distribution are also charged in other countries, but vary depending on the country. The sum represents the price for the consumer, for example, private households or industry consumers. This example shows the cost for the private households in 2021 in Germany. As we can see, over 50% of the energy costs are taxes. Only 25% are costs for generation and sales, here 7.9 cent per kilowatt hour. In the next step, we will focus on the costs for generation. These can be expressed by the levelized cost of energy or levelized cost of electricity. Levelized cost of what? The levelized cost of energy can be thought as the average total cost of building and operating the asset per unit of the total generated energy. It's a measurement used to assess and compare alternative methods of sustainable energy. Besides LCOE, levelized cost of electricity, we also know levelized cost of heat, short LCOH. But there's more. We also know levelized cost of storage, LCOS, levelized cost of mobility, LCOM, and even levelized cost of hydrogen, also LCOH. Levelized cost of electricity. The LCOE consists of the initial costs of investment and the maintenance and operation expenditures, for example, fuel costs, divided by the total generated energy. So it's capex plus opex divided by generated energy. But two further factors are important for the LCOE. The discount range of the project, here declared as I, and the lifetime of the power plant, here declared as T. Let's compare different types of LCOE for Germany. In the diagram, we see different technologies, for example, PV systems or wind turbines, and their LCOE in cent per kilowatt hour. Depending on the type of the system and the solar irradiation, PV systems have a LCOE between 3.1 and 11.0 cent per kilowatt hour. Also, wind turbines are an affordable technology. Depending on onshore or offshore system, we have a price ratio between 3.9 and 12.1 cent per kilowatt hour. Biogas systems are between 8.4 and 17.3 cent per kilowatt hours. To compare these renewable energies with fossil fuels, we see gas turbines with a wide price ratio between 11.5 and 29 cent per kilowatt hours. So we can see renewable power plants are the most affordable energy sources. Let's go back to the levelized cost of heat. Basically, it's the same formula as the levelized cost of electricity, but I want to underline that the levelized cost of heat depends on the operation and maintenance costs. Heat is generated by fuel, for example, gas or pellets. So the pellets or gas prices influence the LCOH. 
Let's sum up. Energy costs consists of the cost for generation, sales, distribution and taxes. Levelized cost gives the cost per generated energy, for, for example, in cent per kilowatt hour. Levelized cost consists of investment costs and costs for operation and maintenance. And most important, renewable energies are the most affordable energy sources we have. Thank you.